assalamu uh, alaikum ada my dear teachers uh, here in this video session we will discuss the process of uploading the vam vidya amrit mahotsav project on diksha application uh, first we need to have the updated version of diksha application in our mobile phone once that is updated and uh, after that we can submit the vam project on that very application so i have updated my diksha app and here you can see i will open my diksha app here i'm just searching the diksha app you can see here and uh, i have opened this this is the first page coming and you can see here there is switch classic to diksha experience and i have to click on try new diksha experience you can see here on the left side try new diksha experience once i click on that the options and i will move down and i will search here the project clicking on that after that i need to click here it will move me to the another page and you can see this is the uh, this is our project where i need to submit my project and there are two options project details and task details first i need to edit the project details for that there are the options on the top download share edit file and synchronization so what i need to do is i need to do to click on the edit option i click on the edit option and you can see another page is coming here and here i can edit my project i can uh, update my project name the objectives of my project i can write here for that there is the edit another edit option you can see on the top the blue button uh, i need to click here once i click on this and the another section will come where i can edit my the my project that is uh, i need to name the project title here i need to edit the project title for example i am first erasing it after that uh, i need to update my project name what is my project name likewise i am writing my project name here uh, it is here uh, simulated learning i am writing for example you can see here once i write this project name on this and down there is description mandatory what is the objective of your project so on the down the line i need to write the objectives of my project what is the objectives of my project my innovation what, which i have done in my school so these things you need to update here and i am writing here the object and i can uh, just change it later on just for demo session i am writing it here a bit short so you need to write in details what is your objective what is your uh, name of the project so this i am writing here now there is another option category mandatory like what does your project aim to improve what is this project for so for uh, adding the categories here like it is teacher and education leader is coming education leader i need to click here select category once i click on this uh, these are the options coming like this project will improve the students the school process as well if the project is improving these things you need to check these things here whatever you feel the project is uh, beneficial those options you need to check mark here so i am doing the same process here and uh, after that save details you can see uh, this has been updated teachers extra so in this way this has been updated my project title objectives and the category likewise on the below there is the project name and this need to be kept as it is uh, because it is by vm underscore jk that is vidya amrit mahatso likewise you have done this section now moving to the task details so clicking on the task details here you can see here there are two uh, tasks first and second task first task is like view learning resources so in the first thing first section you need to click on the view resources so you have to complete in this very task after that you need to uh, complete the second task so i click here on the view resource here you can see and you need to view these resources like open it and just play this video like we used to do in the nista courses 
once we open the course we completed and the task was completed likewise i have opened this and i'm playing this video and uh, it has been completed likewise uh, going back this is the process which we already know how to go in the nishta courses likewise now i am opening the second document so you need to read these documents you need to play these videos to learn how the project can be what type of project you need to upload on the diksha app so this has been done here in this way i can say the task one has been completed you can see the task one i have since i have done this now the important point is there are three dots here i need to click on that and i need to click on edit since i have these resources i have learned i opened these and the here comes the stats and here the stats has to be changed into the completed once i do it i click on ok button you can see moving to the back going back to the previous page you can see here the task one has been completed so i need to change the stats of the task you can see one by two completed it means and there is a green tick mark so in this this task has been completed i have checked my resources i viewed the video and i have checked the pdf file as well and i have put the status completed and in this way this has been put the tick mark green tick mark so in this way one task has been completed now moving to the second task point number two i click on this here what action steps you have taken so you uh, uh, solely your challenge so you need to and second thing you need to click here the sub task sub task like my sub task is uh, simulated learning my project name and edit task means what actions you have been you have taken so you can add the description here to do uh, what kind of things you have done i am using here i have used ict lab here so you can edit it likewise after that you need to add sub task here the sub task is simulated learning and once you have done this and you need to click here add sub task click on add sub task once you write this and this uh, has been now here it is not started i have kept it i have to write it like here i am repeating here simulated learning and here just wait a while click on add sub task and this has been added you can see the task sub task has been added and here you need to upload the files of your project in the image the videos the pdf file supporting file for your task for that i need to click here on the add files you can see i am clicking on the add file here and you can see these are the guidelines of diksha there should be no copyright issue and second thing the video should not be maximum 50 mb so these are the guidelines of diksha so we need to like follow those guidelines and i have to here mark the check mark here and click on the upload button so once i click on this you can see the things you need to upload is you can upload the photograph by clicking the photo using camera you can add the images videos clicking on the gallery button on file you can upload the pdf file of the project and in link you can upload the youtube link of your project for example a video is for example 30 minutes 40 minutes and more than 40 50 mb you can upload here so far first time <laughs> clicking on the file option and you can see here i have kept the data related to my project already in my here folder diksha so you need to already uh, keep those things in your phone and i am clicking here pdf file of my project i will click on this once i click on this it will get uploaded on the task you can see this has been uploaded by clicking on the file option now for video i need to click on the gallery so second point is i will click on the gallery button here 
and I will select the video of my project which I have already saved in the mobile phone you can see here and you can see this already saved here this is the mp4 file I will click on this video this is innovation 2 this is a video file and this has been uploaded this is mp4 file so clicking on gallery you can upload the video file likewise uh, if I want to upload the YouTube link of my video since if the video is uh, greater than 50 MB uh, the length is more than eight minutes so uh, what I need to do is I can just do one thing I can open the YouTube get the link you can see add link here so first for that first I need to open the YouTube and get the YouTube link here I will show here I will open my YouTube here and I will get the link from that and I will paste here so you can see here uh, I will open my YouTube here so this is my YouTube channel and uh, simulations for example I am opening this there is the share button is there and there is copy link I will copy the link of this video and I will open my this Diksha and here on the link add link I will paste it here and I will click on add link in this way the link has also been placed uploaded on my task in this way I have uploaded the PDF file the video of my project the YouTube link of my project and I will click on attach files here once I click on attach files these things will be uploaded for my project in this way this task has been done but since the status is not uh, completed not started so I have to click on here on the blue you can see the status status is showing non not started I have to click here and put and click here on the completed you can see here it will be repeated here just attach files and here this is remarks additional remarks if you want to put for the project uh, this I forget so I have right here I have done this with class 9 students you can add any type of uh, remarks here so here the status is still not started I have to click here the completed I have to check here check mark the completed in this way this task has been completed I have uploaded everything but first you need to upload the things and after that you need to click the completed stats and going back here you can see the task has been completed and this is also green check mark and this is also green check mark these two and here you can see that it is showing the two by two completed both tasks have been completed and here after that you need to click on the fin final submit and synchronization button you need to click and you will get the message in this way you have completed your project you have successfully uploaded your improvement project on the Diksha portal thanks for watching